TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be goners. Murphy! Could you please help? What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile to the war. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! to find him. Anyway. Can you do something about my neighbors? No, but I will let you off for the warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information, and I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence. Uh, that's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'd be good to get back to jail. Life as a free man can be tiring. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. <gasps> Thanks for the help, Murphy. Give me a hand. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. I'll be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. Okay. 
I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibrate. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Oh. Sleep tight. Robo Pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! Hi, Murphy. Let's try to find a better record. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know. See you in the briefing room. So, what's on today? 
It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. This city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's brand home. new! I've only stole- Thanks, officer. Oh shit! The Those are some nice looking dentures. I hope they fit. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness.
This is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak.
Hey, me found my current too. What? Someone knocked out his. For some to learn how not to one. lose the track He's of time. He's asking if anyone found. To learn how not to lose their money. Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So uh, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? It is my duty to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I I'll do my best not to get caught again. Evening, officer. Dad, what does eviction mean? And who's a debt collector? Dad, tell me the truth. Are we poor? Dad? Dad! Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but someone won't let you? Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared. Snoozers. Sleeping pills for kids. Just one pill can guarantee five hours of peace. Nap time just became your decision. Sleep tight, son. 
<sighs> I'm tired. Because you deserve a peace of mind, too. Heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold and hot. Why do you think they promoted her to See that guy down there? He's an asshole. One that likes swimming in oil surely must be swimming in money. favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel.
I was merely doing my duty. That kind of hostile situation is not the only thing I can resolve. Can you tell me what happened here? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but uh, believe it or not, that's her real name. Penny Leeds. The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest. Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. And we got the tire tracks, drag marks. Uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo. And the body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. Poor Casey. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch. Yeah, it probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. That's this green-blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be. But there is more of it around. Oh, I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial and it's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened.
Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with and years later develop serious diseases from. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? What is the purpose of your list? It's my tool to spread the truth. I update it every month and add it to my newsletter. You should read it. It's free. You'll find out some stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. Like what? Take the moon landing, for example. Didn't happen. Why? Because the moon doesn't exist. First time hearing about it? That's why you need my newsletter. I will verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the earliest possible time. Now, the set. Mike was driving, and we heard what we thought was a blow tire, but it was just a gunshot. Hey, I'll learn less if you hang around here. Help! Help! This rascal was trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. Lesson for the future. To save yourself the trouble. Clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man! What a fucking joke! Something interesting in that barrel? My sandwich fell in. I have been dreaming of a hot meal, so here it is. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with! Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom-extended wheelbase. 
We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something, you just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. I only carry out the request of justice. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there. But look for something on Jenkins, too. I am looking for... Look! I'm busy! <laughs> but you know what? I, I like your paint job. It would look nice on my new car. Can you leave me your card or something? The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? I read your messages. They seem to connect you with the case. Would you like to explain? <laughs> You've read my private messages? How did you get access to them? That bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Why did you hire the understudy? Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock. And none of the professional understudies wanted to do it either. They all say it's toxic. So I had no choice. Jenkins brought a guy and said he could do the job. Where is the understudy now? 
I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guys in the hospital are worse, because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take- Take it and get lost! The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You! You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you from getting one. to help me man this shit is burning my skin sunblock is the least of your worries look i know why you're here but i'm innocent i swear you are being detained in connection with the murder of casey carmel if you require medical attention it will be given to you i didn't do it jenkins killed her jerry jenkins the guy from tv you have to believe me you will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free. He's the one who killed Casey. They met here yesterday. Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit. But I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead. And I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it. Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here, when there is a motel across the street? 
His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know! I wasn't there! Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station. That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you? It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits.